Okay, when you first go into uh, Windows 2000, Word. Word 2007, and we create a new document, this is what you'll see. If we type in some stuff, you just type in, and if you want to, you can come back here and you can select. Uh, you can either uh, hold the uh, left mouse button down and drag the cursor over, or you can double click. Maybe you can't anymore. <laughs> Oops, okay, edit that one out. We can hold this down and we can actually change the font. Oh, if you notice too, it'll change the font dynamically. Look in the background as I scroll through here. You can see what the fonts look like. Is there what? Rolling the mouse? We can roll the mouse. Can you show me? Oh, that's not what I thought you were going to do. Okay. What did you want me to do? I thought we could just uh, maybe do oh, the wheel mouse good. up here and have it have it no, flip through good. all of them. Okay. Anyways, you can tell we're a radio talk show format right now. <laughs> and uh, here's another thing you can do is you change the fonts. But it is cool how it does that dynamically. Whereas the other version, did the other versions do that? Okay, I don't think so. Uh, if I want to just make the uh, brown fox uh, red, I can choose red there. Or I can click the drop down. And I can go and choose the color that I want. If that's the color red, I can also do an underline. Well, that was interesting. I didn't have to. Uh... <laughs> this is a great tutorial because we're learning as we're teaching. So I just I don't even have to select words anymore. No, I don't. I just hold that's a little. That's why the double click didn't work. You don't but, need to. But how would I select? Oh yeah, that's true. But double click should select the whole line, right? Sure. Used to. It, it used doesn't to. anymore. Hmm, that's interesting. What's this? I'm gonna make it ooh, cool. Wow. Oh sweet. Anyways, this is a sweet training by uh, Randy Hilgers. Oh, that's cool. It's interesting how it's uh, oh you know why? Because it's my superscript and it's pulling everything down. There we go. Subscript there and it's down. Subscript. All right. I'm here with someone who's smarter than I am, which is very unusual. Okay, well thank you very much for this part of the tutorial. Okay, it's Randy Hilgers. I'm back here with Diane again. And uh, what are we going to show them now, Diane? you have anything? Um, page layout. Show page layout. So okay, we'll click on page layout. And what, what would we like to show? Changing margins. Okay, let's choose that and we'll learn. Oh boy, this is pretty easy. Yeah. Should we do a mirror? Yep, let's Get do Creative. And, and why don't we see it? we got to... You want to do a view, right? Do you know? It's... Uh, Layout. This one here? Yep, print layout. But it's not going to show anything because of the way that you, we have it there. There we go. Uh, okay, but that screws up our little screen recording. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Should have done a full screen. Well, we're learning today, aren't we? And now, well, how do I get back? Close. Close? So I don't know what would have. I don't know what would have happened to the video in that transition. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had to do our own podcast. You know, half the audience would be asleep right now. So, no, it's not entirely true. Anyway, so anything else you wanted to show her? Um, how about showing them how to change the layouts? If it changed the um, authorization, how to zoom in. Do you know how to do this? A view? No. Oh, zoom. Yeah. Ooh, is it dynamic? Mm -hmm. No, 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 it's no, not no. dynamic like other programs I've used. Well, it's maybe it'd be nice if be nice if I could draw a box. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we'll apply that. And there you go. Wasn't that simple? Hoo la 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 la.